What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with another retro 16-bit review for you today. In this video, I'll be taking a look at a game for the SNES that's better than just okay, or even bad. Today, I'm going to look at Star Fox. This game was developed by Argonaut Software and Nintendo, and published by Nintendo, with a North American release date of March 26, 1993. Star Fox is a Mode 7 rail shooter that sees you play as Fox McCloud, flying his R-Wing while defending the Lilat system from an, ev from an invasion by the evil madman Andros. So the question with this game we gotta ask is, what makes Star Fox so good? Well, first off, the music in this game is just absolutely fantastic. Dare I even say top 10 on the console for the SNES? Eh, I'll leave that all up for you guys to debate, but it's it's definitely up there. I mean, just some of the soundtracks in these levels, they're just fantastic. Next is this game was the first and most famously known for having and using the Super FX chip. This chip allowed for the movement and rendering of 2D and 3D polygonal shapes. Some other games that came later on that also used the Super FX chip were Dirt Racer, Stunt Racer FX, Doom, Comanche, and another title you may have likely heard of, Super Mario World 2, or Yoshi's Island. For the time, the Super FX chip was absolutely groundbreaking and very helpful to really put Star Fox on the map. The next area of this game that I want to touch on that makes it so great is the wide variety of levels. When you start out the game, you got three courses or paths to choose being hard, which is the far left path, easy, the middle path, and medium, the right path. And just like Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 64, which, by the way, I also did a review on. So if you're interested, please go check that out. I'll leave it pinned comment down for you below. And it definitely has a wide variety of levels that see you traverse all throughout the Lilat system. Lastly, I want to talk about the controls for this game. They're seamless. It won't take you long before you're flying around, blowing up everything in your path with dual plasma cannons. It's one difference between this game and the Star Fox 64 port, is in this one you get the twin lasers as your first weapon upgrade, and then after that you get, like, plasma cannons. I definitely gotta say, I prefer the plasma cannons in this game a lot more. You just feel so much more powerful flying around with those things. The only real negatives that I can come up with for Star Fox 64, well, there's really three of them. The first one is that some of the 3D environments are a bit rougher around the edges by comparison to today's standards. Especially for, you know, this type of game. Next, considering that this game is a shooter, it can have some really bad slowdown issues. And especially when you've got, you know, 100 enemies flying around on the screen and all these, you know, things popping up at you. Oh, the slowdown could just be brutal. And lastly, the pop-up issues on some of the later levels, like, say, for instance, Venom. Oh, it's just, it's just brutal. This game can have some serious pop-up issues. But, overall, is Star Fox worth adding to your collection or playing with an emulation? Absolutely. I think it's definitely a game that if you're a SNES collector or enjoy playing Super Nintendo Entertainment System games, it's one you absolutely should either add to your collection or if it's kind of out of your price range because, you know, you collect on a budget, then hey, play it through emulation. Fun fact... They actually did make a Star Fox 2 port, but 
Unfortunately, you can only play that one either through the emulator or through the Super Nintendo Mini. Because it was never publicly released as an actual cartridge-based game. And that one has a cool little feature where at one point you get to walk around in an almost like AT looking vehicle. Which later became, you know, the level for the tanks in Star Fox 64. So, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a like, comment, and a share. And I will check you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.